Today, let's evaluate the BX Tracker Motion Sensitive Punch Trackers. These are two devices that you attach to your wrists or to your hands with your wrist wraps or boxing gloves. If you shake them like this, they will turn on. The left one turns blue, the right one turns green. It has a corresponding app for your smartphone that keeps track of your punches, their velocity, and a few other stats. The battery lasts for quite some time, and when you need to recharge them, the charger is right there in the box. There are a number of drills and so on you can set up, but let's take a look at what happens when we use them. Here is Nick. Nick is going to throw straight punches and a few hooks at the bag. The BX trackers purport to track the difference between straight punches and hooks. Unfortunately, no uppercut information. It tracks the number of punches and supposedly the velocity of the punches. Although, as you see from the display on the screen, the velocity is fairly consistently at one kilometer per hour, occasionally bumping up to seven, eight, or nine kilometers per hour, which, I don't know, seems kind of slow to me. Here's the actual manual count, not the machine count. 56 total punches, 29 left straights, 25 right straights, and two left hooks. The machine count had the same number of punches at 56, however recorded all of the punches as straight and none of them as hooks. Again, the velocity was somewhat confusing. I don't really understand how it is tracking the velocity, but let's go on. Hooks only this round. Three, Since the two, previous round didn't register one, any hooks, we decided to do a round of only hooks. This time, Nick will only throw left only and right hooks, hooks at the bag. No straight punches, no straight punches at all. Punches are clearly coming into the Even side. though I wasn't worried about the punch count since it was accurate the last time, the punch count is clearly off this time. In fact, almost half of the punches are not being recorded on the app. I'm not sure why, but we'll look into that as we go on. Clearly, every single punch thrown this round is a hook. No straight punches, no jabs, no crosses. 43 total hooks. Let's see what the app says. 24 total punches according to the app. And just a couple of hooks. And the rest are counted as straights. Huh, that's kind of weird. I don't understand that. This calls for some further investigation. Let's move on and test this out further. This next round, I wanted to see if the punch trackers can really differentiate between a straight punch and a hook, because I'm not convinced that it can. So, we had Nick throw alternating straight punches and hooks, approximately an even number of each. Let's see Nick with that nice clean jab straight down the center, hooks coming in from the side, Nice, crisp, straight rights. Throwing a few different variations of the hook. And what? Three left hooks and one right hook. No, that's not right. We clearly threw a lot more than that. That being said, the score, whatever that means, of Nick's left hooks is a whopping 31. Not sure what that means. And the velocity of the alleged hooks is quite high as well while the speed of the straight punches clocks in at an underwhelming one mile per hour. So, since the velocity measurement seems way off, we're going to take a look at the velocity here. Nick will throw some deliberately slow punches mixed with some rapid fire punches, just to see how the tracker tracks it. So far, most of the punches seem to be clocking in at one mile per hour, which seems ridiculous. And every once in a while, the clock will pop up 10 miles per hour, or 9, or 6, but never really above 10. I don't know, I don't really know how fast a punch is supposed to be, but I figured it would be faster than, say, a brisk walk. So I looked into it. According to Google, the average boxer throws punches approximately 25 miles per hour. Former world champion Ricky Hatton clocked in punches at 32 miles per hour. A staggering accomplishment. And the Guinness World Record is held by Keith Liddell with a punch clocking in at 45 miles per hour. So, seeing Nick's fastest punch clock in at only 9 miles per hour according to this app, 
with his average jab scoring only one mile per hour of velocity, just seems absolutely bizarre, given this experiment. So I'm just going to assume that the velocity tracker is broken and just doesn't work. Or maybe we're just not nearly as fast as we think we are. Let's go back to the hooks. This time I asked Nick to throw wild, crazy slaps. Just big, looping, overhand, haymaker, farmer punches at this bag to see if it would count them as hooks. Because I thought maybe our hooks were being counted as straight punches because they weren't swings. It's very important to understand the difference between a swing and a hook. Remember friends, a hook is not a swing. It is a turn in the body, a pivot from the legs, a punch coming in from the side. Well, look at that. The app counted 14 of those crazy swings as straight punches and only three as left hooks. Okay, I've got to try this out myself. I'm going to put on the punch trackers and see how it counts shadow boxing. Five, four, three. So instead of hitting the bag, I'm just going to shadow box. I have the trackers under the tape on my wrists. You might be able to see the light. Just shadow boxing. Freestyle, throwing jabs, straights, and hooks at different speeds, different intervals. One thing I noticed as soon as I looked at the readout is that the faster you throw punches, the less accurate the punch count becomes. And sometimes it okay. will count extra punches as you pull a hand back rather than simply push it forward for the punch. Sometimes double counting or even triple counting a punch. And once again, most of the hooks I threw were not recorded. One, two, three. Throw ten hooks on the left. Just three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten hooks on the right. Just four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and nothing else. Just yeah. hanging out here, chilling. I threw 10 left hooks and 10 right hooks to see if any of them would be recorded. A total of five punches were counted and zero total hooks. Astonishing. Simply astonishing. So next I decided to throw nothing but wild overhand swings because surely these could not be recorded as straight punches. Maybe the punch tracker requires a big looping motion with velocity behind it to count it as a hook. I mean, it's not a hook, not technically, but maybe that is what the app intended. So I'm throwing as exaggerated of a swing as I possibly can with as much power and speed and velocity as I can. Five punches and one hook counted. Everything else recorded as a straight punch. Huh. Yeah, that's not straight. I think we can all agree those were not straight punches. Two, In this next round, I will throw nothing except for jabs. Jabs with my left hand, clearly a straight punch, and nothing but. So, if the tracker is accurate, it should reflect nothing but jabs or left straights. Let's see how accurate this is. I have this set for a 30 second round. There's Nick timing it on the phone. And instead of telling me, me to stop because this app doesn't have a beeper telling you when the interval is over, Nick just lets me go on for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 more seconds, and I had to cut it off because that went on for some time. So yeah, that was accurate. It counted up my jabs. Again, when I slowed it down without trying to punch as fast as I possibly could, it was pretty accurate. Five, four, In this next three, round, I only two, throw one, one, two combinations. No, one, two combinations only. Left and right one. straight punches in combination. And you'll notice right away, the punch tracker starts adding extra punches. Sometimes three, sometimes four punches 
per every two punch combination. A manual count shows that I threw exactly 36 total punches, 18 left straight punches, 18 right punches. However, the app says 49 total punches with 31 left straights and 18 right straights. Yeah, that's not what happened, friends. Not even close. As I said before, since the punch tracker seems to get confused when you start punching quickly, which sort of defeats the purpose of a velocity tracker, I decided to slow it down and throw left and right punches not in combination, as singles. And so far, it seems to be tracking each punch perfectly, as long as I throw it one at a time with a pause in between each one. And perhaps that was the intention, but... For anyone who buys a velocity tracker for their punches, the first thing they're going to do is throw punches as fast as they can. When I did it that way, the punch count was accurate, but the left-right ratio was not, with 11 lefts and only 8 rights, whereas it should have been perfectly even. This round, I took out the left sensor and only left in the right because it seemed that a lot of the punches from the right side simply were not being tracked. So while throwing rapid fire combinations, I figured, well, maybe that's the problem. Maybe the left and right sensor are interfering with each other somehow. So yeah, we'll see what happens when we're done with this round. Done. I threw 70 total punches punch tracker says 36, that makes sense since I only had the right hand in. 32 right straights are recorded and only 3 right hooks, which again is clearly not accurate, this thing has problems recording hooks. I am bound and determined to figure out how this thing records a hook. So while shadow boxing, I throw as many different types of hooks and variations of hooks and swings and overhands as I possibly can to try to get this tracker to record anything as a hook. I have my doubts. I bet it's going to say all of these are straights. Again, only the right sensor is in. The left sensor is not currently activated. Stop. And now the moment of truth, a punch count of 18 punches. And wow. 11 straight punches and 7 hooks. That's the most hooks recorded so far. Again, everything I threw was a hook. Not sure what's going on here. So first of all, thanks to the folks at BX Tracker for sending me their product to evaluate. I had fun doing it, but at the same time, I'm going to say I'm underwhelmed by the results. There were a lot of inaccuracies in the punch count, the velocity, and differentiating between a straight punch and a hook. And the tracker simply cannot or does not know the difference between a punch that goes out straight and a punch that comes in from the side. So that was frustrating. That was absolutely frustrating. So after a while, I felt like I was beating a dead horse on that point. But when you sell a product and say, this tracks your velocity, this tracks whether or not it's a straight punch and a hook, and this tracks how many punches you throw, and it doesn't do those things, that is problematic. So, yeah, before sending this out on the market, fix those things. I don't know if that's an easy fix, maybe it's a software issue, maybe it's a hardware issue, no idea, but get that fixed before you ship this out. So yeah, that's my review. Take that for what it's worth. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train.